In this part of the series, we're going to implement authentication. We can begin by setting up the sign up functionality. For the best security and simpleness, I want to use Django's built in user creation form. Here we will get a ready form we can use for signing up users and similar. So the only thing we have to think about is telling Django which fields to show and then create a template for rendering the form. So inside the core app, we want to create a new file called forms.py. And then here we need to import two things. First we import the user creation form and then we import the user database model. Then we can create a new form by saying class sign up form. And we can pass in the user creation form which tells Django that we're going to use this. And then here we need to add the class meta for options where we specify which model we want to use which is the user. And then which fields we want, which is username, we want the password field, password1, and password2. And that's everything we need. We still have a few more steps to do. And the next step is to create a view for handling the requests. So inside the views.py, we can begin by importing the uh, form we just created from .forms, import sign up form and I can say dot forms since we're in the same folder as this file and we also need to import a login functionality from Django so from django.contrib dot auth import login and one shortcut from Django which is called redirect because we want to redirect the user when it's signed in so then we can create the sign up view def sign up pass in the request parameter and then the first thing we want to check here if the form has been submitted and to do that we say if request dot method equals post then we know that the form has been clicked and create a new instance of it by saying form equals sign up form and then we can pass in the data from the form by saying request dot post and then we just want to check that it's valid, for example, that the passwords are matching and that the username doesn't exist. So we have to say if form dot is valid, Django will handle everything there for us. And if it is valid, we want to create a new user, user equals form dot save. And then we also have the user now in a variable. And we can use the login function we imported up here to authenticate him, login. Then we use the request and then the user. And then when that's done, we want to redirect the user back to the front page. Return, redirect, front page. And this name just points to the URLs file and then it finds a view with this name. And then Django will just find the path to it automatically. And if it's not a request, uh, sorry, if it's not a post request, we would just want to create an empty instance of the signup form. So else form equals signup form. Because then we want to render it on the page. And then we can say return render request core slash signup dot html. And we also want to pass in the form like that. Great. So then we can import this view into the urls.py file here and say path sign up slash then we want to use views dot sign up and set the name to sign up so if you now go back to the browser then I can click the sign up button and then we get the template that does not exist yet and that is the next step create the template for the sign up page before I continue I just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And just like we created the front page, we can copy a little bit of this, create a new file and save it as signup.html. The title up here should of course be sign up. And then we can just close this just to see that it's working. So if I refresh now, the sign up page should load and you can see up here that the title is set. You can also copy the title from the front page, just paste it in here and say sign up instead. 
And then below the title lib, we want to show the form. So below here is a form method is post action should go to the same page which we are on. And then if we are on desktop, the width should be set to one fourth of the screen and not fill out the whole screen. And set some padding on the sides and MX auto so it's uh, on the middle of the screen. And since this is a post request, we also need a CSRF token here for security. And then below here, we want a field for showing the username. So this is just a simple div element with class MB5, which adds some spacing below. And then a white label, which says username. And then input type text, name, username, which is the same as in the form. We want this to fill out this element, get some margin top up to this label, add some spacings inside and then that the rounded corner should be set. And then below here we want fields for the passwords. So it's two divs with some spacings below and then the labels and then we just use the input type password so it's secure and then we use password one and password two. The classes are the same as the username. So we can save this now just to see that it's working. Great, you see it fills out one fourth of the screen and then we have the fields for signing up the user. If there are any errors, I want to show them below here and before we show the submit button. Django gives this automatically for us if there are any errors. We just want to check this by saying if form.errors and then we can loop through each of the fields. So for field in form, we'll loop through the fields from the forms.py file this list and then it will check if there are errors in one of them and if it is we add a div which is red around the corner so it's easy to see that this is an error and then below this check we have the submit button <laughs> bless you so this is a regular button with some spacings rounded corner white text and then a green background and it's a little bit lighter when we hover it. So if you save now, refresh, you will see the complete sign up form. Perfect. So now we should be able to sign up a user, code with Stein and then a password. Like that. No such table auth user. And that's because we haven't run the migration scripts yet. So if I stop the web server here now, I say python manage.py make migrations and also python manage.py migrate. Great, so now the tables should be initialized. And if I now run the server again, and now the warning that was here is also gone. So now I can try to sign up the user again. Submit. Great, so now we are redirected to the front page, which means that the sign up was working. Great. So now I can set this task to done, and then the next step is to create a functionality for logging out a user. Django has built in functionality for this, and I want to use this. So if I go to the urls.py inside the core folder there, I can import a thing from Django. So above here from django.contrib.auth import views as auth views. So I import this as views but I rename it auth views so it's easier to separate from this views. And then below the sign up here I can say path log out slash and then here I want to say auth views dot logout view dot s view then Django will have everything here for us and we can set the name to logout so it's easy to specify this in the navigation bar and save and then the next step now is to show the logout button in the menu instead of login slash sign up so go back to base.html and then above here I can say or check that if the user is authenticated by saying if request dot user dot is authenticated then we want to show that and if not that means that we are not logged in and we can show these two buttons instead and if 
So here I want the link to the rooms page where the list of rooms will be listed. Paste it like that. So it just goes directly to slash rooms and this is the same as the login link as you can see here. I'm also make a copy of this button and say log out instead. Log out. So if I now save this, go back and refresh. You will see up here now that you see the rooms link and the logout button. Perfect. But before we try this button, I just want to make sure that we are redirected to the correct pages when we log out. And so if we go back to settings.py, then we can specify this here. So here or anywhere else in this file, we can say logout redirect url equals slash so then we will be redirected to the front page we can also specify the login redirect url equals slash rooms so this is where you will be automatically redirected when you logged in and login url equals slash login like that so if you try to visit a page where you're not authenticated you will be redirected to this page so then I can refresh and I can click log out. So then I was logged out, but I was redirected to the wrong page. And the reason why I was, log was not logged out now is because I made a little error in the base.html file. If I go back here, you see that this still shows sign up, but it should say log out. So then I can refresh again. Then if I now click log out, I was redirected to the front page. So now we can set this task as well to done and go to the last task which is login functionality. And Django also has functionality for this which we are going to use. So inside the urls.py file, here we can add this above the logout so path login slash what views dot login view dot s view. And inside here now we can specify where we want the template to be located. And to do that we say template name equals log sorry core slash login dot html. Now we can set the name for this name equals login. Sorry, I was missing an S there. So save. So then the next step now is to create this template, which will be very similar to the sign up page. So I can just make a copy of this and then create a new file, save it as login.html. So if I now just paste this template here, scroll up, I want to rename this to login and login here as well. And Django now, now expects a username and a password but we don't want to repeat the password for logging in. And this can be renamed to just password. And the way we show errors is also just the same as in the sign up page. And we can rename the title to or button to log in and save. So if I now go to the browser and say refresh, then I can click the login button and you see the new login page. I try, can try to log in with the user I created. Great. I was now redirected to the rooms page, which doesn't exist yet. But that's in the next part of this series.